Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. We're back here in the closet, big man. In the closet. Hey, we're supposed to be here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got the overall champ here at the Western Natural sitting back here. The guy's fresh off stage. He's ripped. He's ready. He's full, and he's ready to be interviewed. So, with no further ado, let's bring the man in, Josh Curio. In the house, baby. Fresh oh, off guys. a victory, dude. Congratulations, yeah. man. You look great. Thank you. How's it feel, man? Feels awesome. So, we talked a little bit of, before uh, the interview. And, and Josh had mentioned that he hadn't been on stage in three years, so this is the first step back on stage in three years. Tell us a little bit about the layoff, why you decided to take some time off, and what the heck got you to decide to do the show? Uh, it was, it's been a while away, and I'm, I mean, uh, I had competed quite a bit for a lot of years there and lost my passion a little bit. You know, never stopped working out, and I think everyone that's in the industry kind of goes through that. And, uh, you know, kind of balance myself with business, with relationships, whatever else. Right, then, with life. You know, not to make a scene out of Rocky here, but then I kind of found it again, and uh, you know, <laughs> I started working hard, got in the gym, and then I got to that breaking point that I was like, uh, you know, I got to turn it on now, go balls to the wall, train hard, diet hard, and from then on in, I, you know, put my head down to the... You made that commitment, and, and you're it is ready such to a go. mental game. I mean, a lot of people think, you know, yeah, physically, you know, it, it's difficult, but it is a, a, a mental game. Yeah. Well, and we talked about that too a little bit uh, pre-interview about the mental challenges, some of the challenges that you went through. Um, let's talk about those just a little bit. Like, what was the biggest challenge that you dealt with during the prep? Uh, you know, just getting used to the diet again. It's a steady process. So uh, I think, I mean, no matter how many times you've done this, it's a kind of a refresher every time. Like, wow, this is this right. is tough. I'm it's dieting. Right. Yeah. But, it, do you find? And, and sorry to interrupt you, but do you find that? As you're, because you're 30, right? Yeah. 30 years old, so still a very young man in this game. Um, do you find though, as you're growing older in your career here, that it, it, it is, it's more difficult to get ramped back up and motivated to do what you have to do to be a champion? Yeah, I think so. Definitely, you have to find new, uh, new motivation. It's a different motivation than when I was a young kid. Sure, sure. Like, hey, what, what are these muscles for the first right, time? Right, right, right. I've been there, done that a little bit, but you know, to be, be a champion again, or you know, be on stage again, and know that you still have it inside you, that's an, always a, just a, a, an inspiring thing yourself almost, that you can still do it. Absolutely. So you're back, man. So let's, let's hear what's next. Uh, not sure. I'm, the next is going to be a whole bunch of food and some water. And, <laughs> Man's uh, thirsty. Hang with the fam and thank you, thanking the people that got me here. Sure. And then uh, assessing what, uh, where I want to go from here. Right. We talked a little bit, you know, uh, also about, you know, he came in as a middleweight, barely made the weight class. Uh, obviously he's conditioned, but his frame, he can hold some more weight. So, we, you know, we touched briefly on maybe having you move up to the light heavies. And then we talked to him about not being the biggest light heavy doesn't necessarily keep you out of this right here. It definitely can bring championships no matter what, because conditioning will always, always, always carry you a long oh, ways, you know. Yeah. And so, what are your feelings about that? I mean, how do you feel about possibly moving up to the next the next time you compete being a light heavyweight? I think it's just another challenge in the game, and like uh, you got to accept that, and uh, it requires more hard work, and I'm I'm all good with that. Good, so, good, man. Probably the next step ahead. Cool. You got anything for the big man, Matt? Right. Great physique, great package on stage. The conditioning is there, man. It's and we did too. I thought his stage presence was awesome, man. Absolutely. He definitely commanded the stage. You know. Um, the other thing, you mentioned that there's people that help you get to this point, and we all know it's an individual sport, but you don't stand up there alone. Give a little shout out to the people that help you get here, man. Absolutely. Mom, dad, grandparents, business partners, you know, just to throw out some names, Cheyenne, Justin, Joe, Molly, thank you so much. Couldn't do it without you, and you know, not to be cliche, but you mean the world to me, and I really appreciate it. That's awesome. That's awesome man. Let's, get, let's get a shot with his trophies. Actually, you know what? We're on a show. It's a show. It is a show. Let's, see, a show Let's see your best shot, bro. Give it to the people, man. Overall champ, 2014 Western National, right here. Give us a shot, bro. A little bit of back. Sure. There we go. That's ripped. I like that. That is ripped. And being that he's the overall champ and we have the best sponsor in the world, we're going to hook him up, PS style. So if nothing, no further ado, man, from our company to you, we want to give you some stuff from Pro Subs just to let you know how much awesome. we appreciate the hard work. Thank you so much. And that you deserve yeah. every single thing that you got, man. So That's thank you. And if you don't mind giving us, say, it's a PS Takeover Arizona, baby. It's a, it's a PS Takeover Arizona, baby. Woo! That's it, guys. We're out of here. More interviews to come.